Alrighty, now that we're through that unpleasantness, we can put a check mark on policies and move on to assignments and assessment. Um, here I'm going to talk about the three categories of things that I'm going to grade you this semester. Um, there are these section tests, three in total, were 20% each for a total of 60%. Right? That's going to be the lion's share of your grades. Um, there are going to be Moodle quizzes um, that uh, for each of the theorists that we engage, um, uh, like five multiple choice questions should take less than 15 minutes. Um, all very straightforward as far as it's as straightforward as I can make them, that is. Um, they're totaling 30%, that's 90% of your course and 10% um, for your discussion forums. Each of these theorists are going to have a specific forum. Um, I'm gonna get the ball rolling on the conversation. Yeah, let's talk about the forums first. Um, I'm gonna get the ball rolling on the conversation with a specific directed topic. I will ask you a question. Um, I also, a long time ago, have recorded Moodle video, or not Moodle video, YouTube videos, um, really short ones talking about why I think the question's an interesting question and that sort of thing. Feel free, by the way, to respond to um, these topics by recording a video yourself. Um, I've never actually had a student do that, but that'd be a good way to respond to uh, these topics if you don't like typing and if you want to be a little bit more personable um, with regard to it. Anyhow, um, each of these theorists um, will have a discussion forum. I expect you to post at least once on each of these topics, and by at least I mean at least more is better. Um, what I want these forums to become is an ongoing conversation about the material. I designed the course so that the forum discussions play into your writing assignments, so the more you engage with the forums, uh, the more likely it is you're going to be prepared for the writing assignments. Um, before you even ask, I, I, if you create a new post or if you respond to somebody else's post, you get grades for both of them. You don't have to do one of each. Um, you can do all responses to other people's posts if that's what you like, or you can just create new topics if that's what you like. But um, nonetheless, I want to see that you are engaging with this material in a discussion with your classmates in a way that is at least allowing you to try and understand it, right? Um, like I say, this is rough work too, so you don't have to so much be right on these forums. Um, you just have to show evidence that you're thinking through the ideas. Um, these posts should be substantial, so like, I agree, or this is stupid, or right on man, or something along those lines. That's, that's not going to get you points. It's not going to get you a grade for these forums. You're going to have to engage with the material. But the forums are a great place to ask a question as well. Hey man, I, I, I was reading this passage in Nietzsche, The Twilight of the Idols, and I don't think I get it. I think he might mean this, but can anybody help me out? That is a great use for the forum. Right? That is a great use for the forum. So, um, it, you know, it, hopefully these are useful for you. Right? Um, I read every single post. I do. Right? I po myself post very infrequently. Uh, but it's, I designed the thing and I've recorded a YouTube video about it, right? So I mean, I'm, I'm involved, right? So, but um, keep in mind I'm monitoring these, right? So again, topical, classy. But nonetheless, um, uh, so this is basically a participation grade for 10% of your final grade. Don't scoff at it, it turns A's into B's or B's into A's, right? So 10% um, is actually a weighty hunk of um, the course. So that's the discussion forums. Um, so I tell you right here, and I tell you on the discussion forums themselves, basically I ask myself three questions um, when I am assessing these forums at the end of the semester. Have you posted at least once for each topic? More is better. The idea here is to foster an ongoing conversation about the issues raised by the material at hand. Right. Two, are the posts substantial? Right. Do they show substantial engagement with the material? Right. And three, are the posts timely or did the student wait until the last minute to do them all? 
And that last one points out something interesting. Once a form is open, it's open all semester. Now, I do this for a few reasons. One, I like to leave you with control of that grade right up until the end of the semester, so your forums will close on December 11th at midnight. Okay? That's, that's the way it is. So you've got all semester with most of these forums. They will appear to you as we engage the material, but then they'll just stay open. Right? So if you're worried about your grade in the class or something along those lines, you might think about beefing up your, um, your forum responses. Right? Now, um, the other thing um, that is going on here is that um, the last theorist we engage with, the, most, uh, the, the, the biggest substantial hunk of reading from, um, the, the first substantial hunk of reading from Twilight of the Idols is entitled The Problem of Socrates. Each of these theorists are going to be in dialogue with one of them, Hobbes with Aristotle, Aristotle with Plato, Plato with Socrates, Kierkegaard with Socrates, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the history of Western philosophy is one long running conversation throughout history. What I want you to do is jump into that conversation and have a debate. All right? So hopefully um, those will be useful to you. I've had students tell me um, that this is um, a, a useful element to the course. So. Anyhow, hopefully you agree. Moodle quizzes. Um, these quizzes open when a new section of material opens up. So, for example, Socrates section will open up September 9th, um, which is week two of the course. Uh, so will um, the forum, so will the quizzes, so will all of the video material that I post. Um, I post YouTube videos going over the material on my own, uh, but in addition to that, I post other theorists engaging with this material just so that it's not the Grant Yoakum show all the time, right? It's important that we have divergent voices discussing this material so that it doesn't become dogmatic, right? So um, the Moodle quizzes as well as the forums will pop up. Um, both the forums and the Moodle quizzes, I've set it up this semester so that you cannot do either the forums or the quizzes without viewing the video material. Um, the reason being is that you're going to screw up the quizzes if you don't screen the video material or engage with your reading. Um, in previous semester I haven't done this with the forums and what I found was there were a lot of people talking about material that they hadn't read or screened on the forums, right? So now I make you at least click on the link to view the video material before you can even interact with these two forms of assessment. Right, so you got to do the pre-work before you do the work. That's the way it goes. Um, these quizzes, the, the, the multiple choice or true and false quizzes, they're not meant to hurt anyone. I'm just checking that you're doing your reading and viewing the material. I'm just checking that, right? Um, I pull directly from really obvious points in um, the core course material, right? So um, if you've done the work, it should be like a sore thumb sticking out at you. So um, that should um, that should be no problem, hopefully. Um, I've got them set to 15 minutes um, to complete these quizzes. Uh, that should be plenty of time, but if you're struggling with that, let me know and maybe we can revisit that. Um, so uh, that's the deal with the Moodle quizzes. And uh, the one uh, new format this semester is I'm actually having you write essays. Um, I'm an academic writing advisor. I can give you tons of supplementary material um, about how to structure an essay. Um, these are very, very short essays. Um, I've got them set for 250 to 350 words. That's a page to a page and a half. Right? Double spaced Times New Roman 12 font. Right? It's not a ton of writing. So really what I'm going to do is give you a specific directed question and um, expository points to hit. Right? You'll have a good outline for this work. Um, there will be, like for example, the first will be on Socrates and Plato, the first of these tests. Um, you'll write a Socrates essay and you'll write a Plato essay. And then we turn to Aristotle Hobbes. You'll write an Aristotle essay and you'll write a Hobbes essay. 
I reserve the right towards the end to perhaps require you to either defend a position against criticism or to offer your own criticism. By the end of the course, we should be used to this material enough to do that, right? Um, but nonetheless, um, it, so these, these tests, it's not like you'll have an hour to do it, it's you'll have a week to do it, right? Um, I like that sort of method where it's not do or die, but, or, but rather do or bloody well learn how to do, right? Um, so uh, you'll have all of your resources that you can bring to bear, um, including each other, including your textbooks, including me, um, et cetera, et cetera, for, uh, for, for these, these, these essay questions uh, for your test. Um, so, uh, all of the, the posting dates and due dates, um, like for example, uh, the first one will be posted Wednesday, October 2nd and due Wednesday, October 9th, one week, right? Um, I will set that so that it automatically appears the second, it is October 7th and, um, I give you till noon, um, on, uh, the, the, the due dates. Right. Save for the last one, which I'll give you the full day for. Right. You'll have more time for the final as well. Um, so those are the things that I'm going to assess you on. Three tests were 20% each, that's 60%. I'll grade them out of 20 to make your math easy as well. Um, six Moodle, quiz, uh, Moodle quizzes at five points each or 5% each, right? So that's 30, we're up to 90. And then uh, for the forums, I will assess at the end of the semester a grade out of 10. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the forums. Um, since I leave them open all semester, you may be freaking out because, oh geez, I don't know how I'm doing on this. Um, if you would like me to sort of assess your progress on the forums, contact me. I'd be happy to do that. Um, I don't offer a midterm report. And like I say, I post very infrequently and usually just correctively if I see an interpretation being sort of sent through an echo chamber, I might stop it to correct it so that everybody does not start to interpret or misinterpret something. Um, but nonetheless, um, that is uh, what I will do. Um, when do you get your grades? Uh, the grading of assignments, these are intensive writing assignments. I take time to grade them um, because you need your work to be considered properly. And um, I put a lot of labor into giving you substantial commentary on your work. So. Um, I try to keep myself to about two weeks uh, with these assignments. You'll have these assignments back before the next test. That, at very least, I can say. Uh, the Moodle quizzes, lickety split, right? They are immediately graded, so um, that 30% that, that of your grade, as soon as you know your grade, I know your grade, as soon as I know it, you know it. Um, so uh, that's, that's immediate. Moodle grades those, right? And uh, discussion forums, um, it, it, like I say, end of the semester, I will assess a grade for those. They close the very last moment of class, but if you'd like me to pre-assess you, um, that's, that's, that's what um, I will do. Now, in terms of instructional technology, uh, you know, Moodle is the hotspot for this course, so log into Moodle, check it regularly. Um, every two weeks, I will be posting new material. Typically, I log on every day, but um, uh, every two weeks, um, you will see new material pop up. I've got it set up so that it automatically does that. Um, it's your responsibility to keep up with it. Um, much of the material comes from uh, video, like YouTube videos like this, um, either mine or other people's. Uh, please note that there's a closed captioning feature in, uh, in, in YouTube as well. Um, if you're having trouble with that closed captioning feature, like if it sucks, let me know. Um, I can go in and edit <laughs> what it captions, so um, if there are problems with it, please let me know you're helping me. Um, so what are you going to need? Uh, you're going to need a computer uh, with speakers or minimally headphones, uh, a live internet connection, 
some sort of word processing um, word processing program like Word or something along those lines. Uh, if you're an Apple user and you're using Pages, please save your document to uh, .doc or .docx um, version before you send it in. It'll save me having to read your submission on my iPhone. <laughs> So, um, yeah, yeah that, that'll be the deal. Uh, but everything's on, uh, on Moodle there. If Moodle is giving you trouble, um, on the third page of the syllabus, uh, I give you uh, contact, both phone, and a uh, link to submit a ticket um, for, um, for, for a thinger, uh, for Moodle problems. Um, and uh, if you have additional accessibility uh, issues that arise, um, please contact Disability Support Services and I give you um, their hours and their contact info there on the syllabus as well. And again, um, there is a tentative schedule so that you know when things are due, where you should be in the course, that sort of thing. I replicate this on the Moodle page as well, so each section has the schedule there as well, so it's all there on Moodle. Um, the last thing I'm going to point out to you, and this is sort of funny because um, they changed the way I submit grades uh, last semester at OU. Um, I'm submitting to the Office of the Registrar a letter grade for you now. So it's either an A, an A+, plus, an A-, minus, that sort of thing. Right? So um, that's all the Office of the Registrar sees from me. But just so you know, the percentage point to letter grade conversion, I've included it on the fifth and final page of your syllabus. Um, let it sink in a little bit because the A range goes from 80% all the way up to 100. Um, that's just what I'm used to. Right? It's this, this is actually a somewhat replicated from the University of Windsor and Brock University. That this, this just about Cana every Canadian institution um, it has this letter grade to grade point um, the conversion, at least in uh, their departments of philosophy or humanities. Right? So um, this is just what I think right? when I say, well, this paper is a C. It's a solid C. Well, what number should I give it? Well, I know a solid C is 66.9 down to 63%. So if you're in the 60s, your C range. All right. So. Um, before you freak out uh, because you're getting point grades that you're not happy with, please refer to this. Um, I, it doesn't really make a difference right? because an A is still an A, a B is still a B, a C is still a C. This is just me trying to be clear in uh, my communication with you, uh, which is one of the cross-cutting capacities for this course. Anyhow, um, I think we're going to have an interesting semester. I think we've got some interesting things to talk about um, uh, throughout the semester. Uh, the value of values, how to live a meaningful life, what political power means, what happiness is, what love is, and what it means to be a citizen in a democracy. These are all important topics that we all, to some extent or another, care about, one would hope. All right. So, um, that uh, concludes your welcome video. Uh, welcome. All right. uh, I'm looking forward to this semester. If you have any questions at all, please contact me and um, have good days, one for each of you.